Welcome back, True Seeker. While I was away from making videos and busy working, there was a story I really wanted to cover, but I didn't have the time to put out a video. I did cover it on my blog, however, and that was the number 16 seed out of Maryland beating the number one seed, Virginia, in the men's tournament. The first time ever that a number 16 seed beat a number one seed. And I said last year, we're probably not too far away from this story happening. There's more and more gimmicky stories in the world of sports, and this fits the pattern. More things unprecedented. So let's talk about why the number 16 seed won on March 16th this year, something that had never been done in the men's tournament. This was the 34th year of the opportunity of a 16 seed beating a one seed. And it was a school out of Maryland that did it. Notice Maryland and Gematria sums to 34. More importantly, this was the 136th all-time match in the men's tournament of a one versus 16. And 136 is the 16th triangular number. Meaning if you add 1 through 16 together, it equals 136. So this was no coincidence that this finally happened this year in the 136th time a 1 seed played a 16 seed. And again, Maryland equals 34, the 34th year of the opportunity. Now look at the score, 74 to 54, 128 combined points. In the base ciphers, Maryland sums to 34, as we talked about. Maryland also sums to 128. Virginia went down with 54 points. The word upset in the base ciphers equals 54. Another relevant thing that sums to 54 is Jesuit order, and the Jesuits have major influence over the world of sports, especially college basketball. As for Maryland winning with 74, that's the reflection of 47. Maryland also sums to 47 in the base ciphers. 74 is another one of those very special numbers to the, this study, and a number we talk about all the time in sports rigging and more. Think about the uh, score of the Super Bowl this past year. 41 to 33, 74 combined points. The Eagles won with 41, Super Bowl equals 41. 41 is the 13th prime. It was the rematch of the Super Bowl from 13 years earlier. So, news by the numbers, rig sports by the numbers. Remember, the March Madness tournament began in 1985. That was the first year of a one seed versus 16 seed. Basketball sums to 85. For those of you who really appreciate this work, I want you to join my Patreon. I'm going to start putting the majority of my sports content on here. I'm still going to put out some videos for free on YouTube because I realize there's some people who don't have any money they don't have a credit card, they're young. I'm still gonna put out some content for free. But most of my sports content going forward is gonna be on my Patreon. And here's how the Patreon works. You can pledge $1 a month. What that'll get you access to is the weekly podcast that I'm gonna begin doing, plus some other content which I'll throw your way. Because I realize there's some people who don't have a lot of money and pledging a dollar a month, that might be a lot to them. The next tier is $2. If you pledge $2 a month, you're going to get the weekly podcast. You're going to get the first chapter to my book, plus some other content I put out. For $5 a month, you'll get all of the sports content I put out, plus the weekly podcast, plus the first two chapters of my book, and the long chapter on the history of rig sports. So really good value for $5. I mean, if you know my work, I put out really high quality work. I do things that aren't done anywhere else in the world. You know, a lot of you spend money on Netflix, way more than that per month. And you probably, you know, sit there for an hour and just try to find something decent to watch. So can't go wrong at $5 a month. If you want 
access to all the content I'm going to put on here and the entire Letters and Numbers book. If you haven't picked it up yet, that's $11 a month. And my goal is to get this monthly total up to at least $2,500. I'd like to get it higher than that. But at $2,500 a month, with that and the additional book sales I do, then I can live comfortably and make this work my primary source of income. But that's only going to happen if people are willing to invest. If not, the same thing's going to happen that happened in the past. I'm going to have to go back to the work grind and I'm going to be away from doing this content. You know, that's why I wasn't here for March Madness when it rolled around and all the other stories. You know, I was grinding. I was working 80 hours a week, making up for essentially five years of not working. And why didn't I work for five years? Because I was busy putting out this content, writing the book. You know, it took a lot of time to advance the research as far as I did to put the book together as well as I did. Major investment in time. So far, it hasn't paid off. You know, so far, I've made about as much money from the book as it cost me to fix my own house that was crashed into on Christmas Eve 2016. You know, I had to pay for a big chunk of the damage even though it wasn't my fault that a car drove through my house, you know. And I don't think that would have happened had I not been doing this research. So. We'll leave it there, true seeker, you know. As time goes on, I'll remember all the other major stories that I wish I could have covered that I missed in the time I was away, and I'll put out those videos, things such as this. This just came to me today, and I was like, oh, yeah, I really wanted to cover that. <laughs> the number 16 upsetting the number one seed, you know, complete joke. And not only did they upset them, I mean, they blew them out. I mean, it's just so ridiculous. We're talking about a school that has some of the best young basketball players in the entire nation, Versus school that, you know, has some decent talent. <laughs> Nowhere near in the same talent level of these two programs. In a non-rig sports world, this could never happen. <laughs> you know, this is like a YMCA team beating an NBA team. Not going to happen. Until next time.